Greetings to all and welcome to News Now Nexus. I'm your host, Emmanuel Anthony, dedicated to bringing you the latest global events. This platform is your go-to for everything newsworthy. If you haven't tea already, subscribe and activate notifications with the bell icon to stay updated with us. For newcomers, thank you for choosing News Now Nexus as your trusted news source. Each subscription and share drives us to serve you better. Without further ado, let us delve into today's major headlines, breaking down the events shaping our world. Stay informed and be a proactive citizen. Today's topic, military training and collaboration, the significance of Russian training for Burkinabi cadets. Recently, Moscow has solidified its alliance with Burkina Faso, especially after the coup d'etat. To further cement their bilateral relations, a Russian delegation, led by Deputy Defense Minister Yunus Bek Yevkarov, visited Burkina Faso. They engaged in discussions with the country's military leader, Ibrahim Traore, exploring potential avenues for military collaboration, as confirmed by an official statement from the Burkina Faso presidency. This visit builds upon previous discussions that took place between Traore and Russian President Vladimir Putin during the Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg last July. One of the focal points of the recent talks was the training of Burkinabi cadet officers, including pilots, in Russia, as mentioned in the official communique. Ties between the two nations have grown significantly following the 2022 coup led by Traore, which overthrew Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henri Sandogo Damaba. Damaba had himself previously led a revolt against President Rock Mark Christian Cabore earlier that year. Russia's rising influence in Burkina Faso, as well as its broader role across the Sahel, has drawn international scrutiny. This attention intensified after Burkina Faso decided to expel French troops in February, paving the way for the increased influence of the Russian Wagner mercenary group. The group is known for its presence in several African countries, including neighboring Mali, which is similarly governed by a military junta. While the Wagner group is often viewed as a dependable partner in counterterrorism operations within the volatile Sahel region, it has faced accusations of perpetrating crimes against the civilian population. Today's breaking news segment concludes, and I truly hope it was enlightening. Here at NewsNow Nexus, we aim to provide clear and captivating updates. If you appreciated our efforts, please give a thumbs up. Engage with us by sharing your views in the comments and consider sharing this video. Do subscribe for more content. Emmanuel Anthony here, expressing gratitude for your trust in our reporting. We're not just delivering news, we're fostering a community. Your participation is vital. Until our next segment, stay informed and keep that zest for knowledge. See you soon in our next breaking news episode.